Welcome to the Empire, this is Rampane, and welcome back to my Sector of the Imperishable campaign, where we're going to continue the from last time in Immortal Empires. We have an ambush here for Tic Tac Toe, where I have actually tried to fight this like seven fucking times, because it says I will lose one unit if I fight, if I take the auto-resolve. If I fight it myself, even if I win and I only lose one unit, my men continue to crumble and just die because of you pieces of shit. These flying units are disgusting. And I'm actually going to be taking the others off. I don't want to. I would have preferred to fight this myself and see if I can admit not lose him. But no. Oh, it's the spooky, scary skeletons, too. Of course, those are the ones that died. Awesome. Because, no, seriously, if I fight this myself, they bomb my units, kill half of them immediately. I've literally tried to see, hey, can I just, let me try this a couple times. Let me try and see if I can get this to work just right. No, I can't because you guys fucking suck. So we're going to take that. I'm going to take the win. Uh, I do have to update the fact that the spooky scary skeletons are going to die here. We'll at least take the uh, uh, replenishment here. And I'm worried about... The yep, this is what I was worried about. Because even if I won that fight and didn't take any casualties, these fuckers are still around here. Um, I can't fight this. So we're not with how damaged we are. So we're going to withdraw for right now. I'm not in range of the city at least, so they're not going to be damaging that army. So I'll be able to try and pull back a little bit. See if we can regroup, because Cetra and Wakaf are making their way over here. And this at least guarantees that Tic-Tac-Toe is completely destroyed, because his army is completely out of the way, with me uh, taking the auto-resolve there. So that way, at least, he doesn't get to try and recover and get back in here, because that could have been a problem. Okay, because now what did we get? Mighty Monuments. Um, More armor or more weapon strength or more charge bonus for Cap. Honestly, um... Boosting our chariots would be nice. 10% more charge bonus and speed for chariots would be kind of nice. I'm going to say that. So we'll go with that one. And then, so you have more movement range since you've been able to defeat Tecto. So you are... Thoric is trying to run away. Because Cetra, Cetra literally is here. You guys... Okay, no way in hell am I losing medium casualties. Give me a second. I'm going to fight that myself. So Thoric is trying to run over this way. King Kosh needs to pull back. And I need to get him some replenishment. So. Costa Park is got 11. It's not the best, but it's it's better than nothing. Let's go back here. And then we need to try and. Um, it takes me two turns for those guys. That's not what I want. Uh, how was I ranking you up for your red line? I was at least trying to get you this, for sure. So we're grabbing you that. You need to get, let's see, um, got two points. I'm going to upgrade this. I do want to get this stuff too, but we can get that next rank. So we can get that next rank. I'm going to have you, since you need to get some more recovery anyways, I'm going to have you grab another one of these guys. Um, I did have a couple other names that were suggested that were Lizardman themed. I'm going to grab some of those and put them into these units now, seeing as how we did beat Tic-Tac-Toe. I don't like that I use the auto-resolve, but... Literally, I hate how I, I, one of the fights I did, I was able to win it, I only lost, like, two, I lost one of my infantry units, but then, they were so beat up, even if I was trying to heal them, they just cr kept crumbling the fuck away. So, there we go, we now have the Lizard Skinners, we have the Scale Tippers, also got the Skubuki Scary Skeletons back again, uh, go Cold Blooded Destroyers. Um, and death to cold blood. So we got those guys here. You're gonna be sitting up in Casa Bar, trying to watch over the area while I get Cetra and everybody else back over here. Uh, again, this army I'm not too worried about. I think he'll just keep slowly dying here because I can just keep hitting you with my agents. Fail that time, but that's okay. Um, and I know we have it. So a cough is making his way down here. Let's see, would be fast. I think it should be. I actually should send you over down this way specifically. I wanted you to kind of go flank, but seeing as how they've been able to push on into the plane of Tuscars uh, and also Bagar now, um, I need to make sure that we can push them back sooner rather than later. So let's just have you group up as soon as you can. Cetra, we're going to fight this battle. And then uh, Thoric Ironbrow, he's possibly going to try and hit that final city wheel. Let's fight this ourselves because there's no way in hell we are taking medium casualties. Not with Cetra's army. Cetra's army is so powerful at this point, he is not going to be taking that many casualties. Um, King uh, Rakash, I'm not surprised by. He is still slowly building himself up. He hasn't been able to get the resurrect ability just yet. If he could have the resurrect ability, I think that fight would have gone a lot better with Tic-Tac-Toe. But sadly, he does not have that. So, let's finish off the last settlement that the dwarves have around here. And then Cetra's joining on in to also try and help out with Tic-Tac-Toe. Um, because at the moment... 
again, I know I've been open to the idea of us trying to work with specific factions and uh, having allies. And I know there's like a mention of like one of the books of Nagash or something like that. Uh, they mention uh, using uh, lizard guard uh, auxiliaries, which I think is really cool. But uh, I know for ourselves, nobody really likes me, so we're probably still just going to be endlessly just slaughtering my enemies. So let's get you guys group up here. You guys right there. Chariots, all of you guys group up, and you'll probably go try and just go for the city center, possibly back here. Because that works. Uh, Casca Souls. Start the battle. Start the limit. Start charging forward there, Cetra. All of you guys start trying to make your way up with my infantry. And then archers, I can have you guys wait a little bit until we're a little bit closer. And we'll have you... Let's see, so that is a long beard, that is a long beard. Okay, just doesn't matter. Start breaking down the gates, and then we can have you guys start trying to make your way to the city center. Just need Cetra and my lord here to break down the gates, and then you guys can start distracting the entire enemy army. Because my tomb god are making their way forward, they'll be joining in to help us out here. And honestly, we just need Cetra to get on in here to start slaughtering the enemy army. We'll start healing you guys up as you guys are taking a little bit of damage. Gates almost down, there we go. Start blobbing them up there for us so Cetra can do his thing and slaughter you guys. Archers, I'll probably have it so that this, uh, now that we're kind of pushing on in here. Let's see, my infantry, you guys essentially are trying to like push this way. All my archers get closer and have you guys start trying to maybe get on top of the walls to be able to try and start taking those points. Uh, you guys uh, just go to the city center. Because they're not even getting off the walls, the gates down, you can just go for this final point and possibly just capture it before they even really can do anything. Yeah, I love how Cetra is just being pummeled by Thunderers, and he doesn't even care at this point in time. Like, that's how strong Cetra's been able to get to at this point. Uh, keep focusing on the Lord here, he's almost dead. Tomb Guard are making short work of the walls. Uh, my Chariots... What are you guys doing? Because you're supposed to be making your way to the city center. There you go. They've got their Gyro Bomber things still. Okay, yeah, just keep grouping up on the city center. Those things can't stop us from capturing it. So, just make my way back over here. Cetra... Just keep trying to pass up the heals. Lord is actually kind of surviving a little bit longer than I'd like him to. I'll just have to keep trying to buff my units around here. So we can try and push on into him a little bit faster. Uh, you please try and focus on some of the skirmishes around here. Like, this area is fine. My Tomb Guard just needs to kind of group up with Cetra. Kind of start providing some support. Archers, I can get you guys inside now at this point. As they don't actually have a whole lot left at this point already. Yeah, if Cetra would have been the one to have fought Tic-Tac-Toe, he wouldn't have lost anything. Because we were able to recover literally everybody. Take no casualties for this fight now. Um, so now at this point in time, Thoric has no cities left. He is now going to have to attack something to survive. Probably going to attack Kossabar, I kind of guess. That's my expectation, honestly. But uh, Cetra will be making his way over uh, next turn to the west. I'm going to have it so that Cetra... Hopefully, Thoric maybe kills himself basically during the end turn, and then we don't have to worry all that much. Um, so, Cetra can start pushing on into the forces of Tic Tac Toe. Those armies, um, we need to make sure they don't get too far into my territory right now because they've already taken two cities. If, they, if that's it, that's fine. We can push them back, and that's not going to be too much of an issue. So, let's now have it so right here. Occupy. I kind of wanted to sack that, but I think we just we can just occupy it for right now. Um, but yeah, this area is secured. You'll start now taking attrition there. He's a lot of flying units there. Please don't attack King Rakash. At least I have, like, the garrison here to help us out if they do attack. But I really don't want to lose that area. Cetra now. Rank up. Let's see. Um, I want to get you some more armor. And then my hero, the Mad Prince. Let's have you grab, uh, charge bonus bone up the grade there. That will be good. You guys will be making your way out of there soon. Uh, my hero. Again, you're just kind of scouting. You're just still watching over this area, trying to see what's what's going on. Uh, the gash area. Yeah, I can upgrade that. Um, I would upgrade the main building first, we'll say. You guys need to get the more income there. Get the resource. More growth. Um, you can upgrade this, because why not? Upgrade, because why not? and then commandment for the area we just took. So again, we want to try and get the, the growth uh, and, well, the public order initially, we'd say. Well, no, because of where we are specifically, I need to get the more public uh, movement range. So we get the movement range, so it's easier for Cetra to kind of make his way over to the west, and then ideally... Are you guys... Let's see. He's just at war with me. Because I was wondering if maybe... 
I was almost wondering if I could actually get them to give me bees. Uh, I was wondering if you guys would work with each other. Because I'm hoping that they don't just make the real rear to Casa Bar and just fuck up King Rakash. That's entirely possible that they might try that. Alrighty, what do you want to discuss, Queek? Better not be war- Ah, oh, not a Crusher Pact! You know what? I'll take that. Uh, you're paying me for it. I think that is reasonable enough to try and claim it there. Also, it looks like the forces of Tic-Tac-Toe are making their way up. Thoric is sieging me. I don't like that. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get Cetra over there in time to be able to liberate that siege. We'll try and see if we can. Because I just need to get Cetra over here and have him help out with the rest of these forces with Tic-Tac-Toe. And then we're going to be set for the most part. So what we need to do is... So, boom, boom. So yeah, we're sieged up here as well. Uh, you guys, though, I think... Yeah, Kalita will probably join in. Yeah, they will. So this army's dead immediately. Don't need to worry about that. Let's just grab the Canopic Jars. So that's good. So that's one force out of the way. Now, could I win this fight with what I have in here? So my army's pretty beat up. Thoric. What is your... How beefed... Because you're pretty beefed up. 35 missile resistance. 10% ward save. And 40% physical resistance. I think the rest of his army would not be that bad, but he himself would slaughter this army. So I'm actually going to siege, because he's going to keep taking attrition. Uh, Cetra, I'll start trying to make my way up here. And also, uh, I now, yep, I have the resource. I can now get this armor that I want. So we can now craft this, give myself that scorpion armor there, because that'll have it so that essentially I'm going to get a slight upgrade over my... Um, my current armor, as long as I'm below 50% health, essentially. So we'll grab that, and then also I want to try and see... So what we'll do now is I'm going to have the Armor of Destiny come off of you, grab the Scorpion Armor instead, and then I will give over the Armor of Destiny over to you, and then I need to get you a better weapon right now. Uh, can I craft one? Weapons... I can craft uh, this. Eh, it's not bad. I can craft this right now. So that's that's something. It's a slight upgrade for my lord here. And then basically, I'm going to wait until next turn. I'm going to let it so we'll let them see just for a turn and hope that Cetra can get over here. Because at the moment, uh, you guys... You need to attrition right now? Is that why? You should be taking attrition too. Um, or did this just already go off? What's the last five turns? Has it already been five turns? Oh, fuck. Uh, that's not what I want. But still, Cetra's making his way over here. I don't think I can win against Thoric with uh, Rakash. So we need to kind of try and wait for Cetra to get over here. Cetra will then kick his ass. Um, well, cough here. You're making your way back down. So you're going to start the counterattack, essentially. So you're making your way down here. You'll be able to reclaim the Plane of Tuscars and Bagar and everything. Maybe I should go for Bagar first, because it's got a bit more important building, possibly. Uh, you've got to rank up. Let's have you get Evasion for sure. Grab that. And then I just have building-wise right now, right? No, you guys at least. I should probably go... Have you come down this way, too. So that guy will kind of try and scout down here. Uh, you're still just trying to stay up here and see what's going on with everybody else around here. This seems to be what Queek has right now, so I'm kind of glad I grabbed that uh, non-aggression pact with him. Martek, I'll tell you upgrade this. You guys... Um, Martek is a little pissed off. I'll have one of you finally get this damn control building, because somebody needs to get it. I don't get carrions ever, so we'll grab that. Uh, you can upgrade this... Get the resource, get the growth. Sartosa needs to grow, and then I have a little bit more money. We can get this, and then I would say the growth building there. I've got a little bit more. I can get some more money here, and that's all I've got for this turn. God damn it! Of course you guys have to be pushing up this way right now. Okay, take the auto resolve. They're gonna take it. Okay, they're gonna take the city there. We're almost on our way up there now. Like, Wakaf is just going to have to adjust. They're just getting really close to Camry right now. So what we're going to do is... Uh, get... Fuck you. Of course you decided to attack me here now when I'm not ready. Oh, you've also throttled your army too. Interesting. So um, I'm going to lose some stuff up there. That's that's guaranteed. Uh, we'll have to just come back up there eventually at some point once we've been able to deal with the Lizardman threat. Because I know next turn, Thoric's dead. Thoric is not going to be able to win against Cetra's army, and so we'll be able to slaughter them, 
get rid of them. Setra will then keep pushing up towards Kemri again to try and help push those guys back. And I'll probably have it so where Kosh is actually going to be the one that stays back and pushes on the uh, counteroffensive. So, yeah, we lost the Springs of Eternal Life. Yep. And then we also lost that up here. And then, uh, Confederation. I have a new army at least now. Okay, so... I could put it up here, but I think I will instead get it around Kem. So let's have you grab, I would say... Eh, the, the more range and ammunition is not bad. So go here, and then who do I get again for this? So this one has... This is the bonuses for the War Sphinx and the Necro, Necro Sphinx. Which, at the moment, um, I do have you available. So I'm going to grab these two. And I'm going to have it so we'll get this research next. So this is going to be his army. What I have available right now here is I'm going to try... I'm going to actually try and get these Necropolis Knights for once. So let's grab those guys. We might not keep them in this army, but for right now, hey, just grab them. Then let me have it so... Grab some more archers. More archers here. And then we'll try and get some Tomb Guard in this army, essentially. So at least get that for right now. So three turns of recruitment. You'll be ready. Um, we'll cough. Let's see. You guys cannot attack him if he goes rushes over here. So just run on over this way and force march. You'll be good. Then we'll have to have it so that for right now, Cetra. What we're gonna do is Cetra. Let's see, do I have to fight this? So I lose two of my infantry if I didn't. I'm gonna fight it myself. I don't want to give them to the, the the chance to do that. You're just gonna be controlled by me. I don't want you to throw these guys away. And then let's have it so we'll push on in here. Thoric cannot win against Cetra. We've already beaten him back once, so we can do it again. And what we'll try and do is... Let's see. So we need to have it so my archers need to try and focus on their uh, gyrocopters. I need to have it so that Cetra will try and focus on Thoric specifically. Infantry, I'm going to hold off and bring you guys in just yet until I am able to try and get rid of their... Um, get rid of Thoric. Thoric has a lot of AoE damage that he can do, and so we want to make sure that he's out of the picture before we throw in my infantry. So right now, Cetra and everybody. Group up, group up, group up, group up. So chariots, I'm going to have you guys kind of off to the side here, because I want you to go to get their cannons. Infantry, I think we can have you guys there. Yeah, that's okay right now. So basically, start the battle. Cetra and company, go there. You guys rush over this way. Infantry, I'll move you closer, because I do want to have it so my skirmishers start unloading on them. Uh, you just kind of fire on into infantry units. You try and do that, and then Cetra and company will just rush forward. You guys will just be trying to take out Thoric, ideally. We kind of want them to blob up so that then they can just take a lot of extra damage um, from being shot up by my guys. Okay, chariots just kind of go around the backside. Looks like at the moment... Their cannons are kind of focusing on Cetra and my heroes, which I'm not opposed to. Yeah, let's try and get on in here, try and focus on you guys. Let's kind of buff you guys, debuff the enemy, buff ourselves, and then you keep making sure you're firing into this section. So keep doing that, keep giving some buffs to my hero. Chariots kind of get on the backside here. Infantry, keep getting closer. Archers, keep getting closer. Chariots are being shot at a little bit, that's okay. Want to have it so, let's see, one of you go over here here, one of you go right here, and right here. Don't like how you guys are being shot at right now. Cetra, keep the heals up, though. Do also your little explosion to try and kill these guys a little bit faster. Infantry is dying rather nicely. Their, their hero's almost dead. So, focus the hero down first. Get rid of him. Buff it yourselves. Chariot's coming on in. There you go. Keep slaughtering those guys. Archers... Let's see, you need to focus on the one, focus on one gyro bomber at a time. Infantry, I'm going to now get you guys to start pushing forward. Try and help us out with Thoric a little bit. Etc. Don't need more heals just yet. That's okay. I do have you, though, so you can keep healing us, too. So, you can spam your stuff to get some heals. Yeah, I just need you guys to, like, archers, you're trying to. You're supposed to be focusing on these guys. Focus on them. Cetra, keep trying to get some heals up. Keep buffing us here. Thoric is now fighting all of us. And, yep, that's the AoE I'm talking about. You can do a lot of that. So keep trying to just keep casting here. Chariots, let's kind of get you guys to back up a little bit. Archers, you're just singling out one of the gyrocopters at a time. Chariots, just get out of there. Cetra, keep buffing and healing. Thoric is losing, though. 
He's slowly but surely losing this fight here, so I just get all my men to keep focusing on him. Archers, there we go, just keep focusing on these guys. I want all of you, essentially, to keep focusing on the same damn thing, basically. Thor, Thor, you got a lot stronger in the last couple turns since I fought you. But there you go, you're now breaking, yep, there they go, the entire enemy army is now dead. Let's now group everybody up and try and recover a bit more. Alright, so we're able to get a decent amount of my army back there, which is good. Cetra's army took quite a bit of damage just because Thoric himself can do so much. Yeah, look at that, he has 300 kills. Jesus. But there we go. Thoric's expedition is now dead. They are no longer going to be able to do anything against us. Now we need to have it so that Cetra is going to be making his way north. He's going to be trying to finish off those armies that are just rushing to Kemre. And while that's going on, Rakash is going to stay back down here. I will have Rakash get ready to start counterattacking and basically reclaim the land we lost in the furthest south. So he'll start the counterattack, and basically what we'll probably do is once, basically once the my fourth army is fully built up, that one will probably go deal with Ikit. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, let's grab the more replenishment right, right now, although he's still fucking alive for some reason, I don't know why. So at the moment, yeah, you guys stop that. Etc. Keep me coming up here. Finish him off once and for all. And then let's have it so that what we're going to do now is I'll grab the movement range now as well. And let's see. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. You guys, I can't stop you. At the moment right now, you need to just say, I sit here, try and recruit a new unit. Try and grab that. Just keep trying to recover the best you can. Thor, his uh, expedition is now dead though. Etc. Um, let's now get you uh, the upgraded Desert Strike, which definitely want to have that. Um, then we can have it with so the Mad Prince. You're going to grab, you should grab the Mentor stuff. I could, probably should have grabbed that last turn, actually. So grab that. Game Rakash. You need to, okay, so again, I was thinking this army. I think this one I almost want to do the, because you have the bonuses for, you, yeah, because you can do anything. I kind of want, again, I wanted you to try and get the, where is it? It was not this one. Elite Cavalry one. I'm gonna get this one. We're gonna hold off on. Oh, I should get that because then you need you need the red line. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm gonna have you have those units in your army. So for right now, we'll start to do that, and then um, this is for um, my agents. So let's see if you get the assault unit stuff there, and then you've not moved. Let's see. So. I'm going to try and get you down over here to try and harass these guys if you can. You're still scouting. Just keep scouting. I might actually send you over towards Sartosa soon at some point. Uh, grab that upgrade. You. Let's see. I should get some more Ushab to you. I don't really have a lot of those in my armies, actually, now that I realize it. I will say... Yeah, just get another one of those. Get that. Get the defenses here. Get some more growth. Uh, over here, we need, oh yeah, I need to get the Temple of Xandri. Yeah, so let's grab that one, because that gives me more, uh, trade resources, more trade tariffs, and more capacity for my armies, which I really like. Hello, Krokgar. Uh, let me guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, we're just kiss pissing off every Lizardman. So you're gonna attack us up here. So for right now, I'm not gonna be able to deal with Krokgar. Krokgar is attacking my east. Okay, so what we're going to do for right now. So they're actually walking close to us. Okay, so we're going to lose more land up here. That's fine. They only sacked it, though. So out of all the wars I have right now, it gets the one we could ignore. I will lose some land around here with Sartosa and Astalia. That's fine. I need to have it so tic tac is the first uh, lord we need to focus on. Ideally... Given the position of Krokgar, I can try and have it so one of my armies makes its way over to block that one entrance they have. So, like, you guys are right here. I don't even think you can even win against Cetra. Pyrrhic victory. I'm just... just die. I have time to recover. I'm not gonna fucking deal with you. Um, what is Krokgar's defeat trait, though? So because I'm curious about that. Let's go over here. I'm not going to lose anybody. Nope. So just reclaim this land. Occupy that. Give us this back over. They did demolish everything, though, which bugs me. So get the growth. Build this back up. 
So, we'll cough. Yeah, because I can... If I can get someone over here... We can kind of stop them in this area. Because then I need to have it so that, like, next turn, you'll be fully recovered. You're going to go back down south now. Cetra... I actually kind of want Cetra to be the one to go deal with Krokgar. Because I'd like to send him up there, but King Wakoff will send him there for right now, I'd say. Research-wise, um, let me get this. Definitely need to upgrade my stalkers. Upgrade those guys. And then you need to be replaced. So you need to be replaced with... Where'd he go? There he is. Of the Third Dynasty. So yeah. This guy, we're going to grab you. You're going to be the one that's leading this army. Eventually we'll get some actual war sphinxes in here. I At least I'm going to start trying to upgrade Kemri there. Grab that. Cetra. Let's see. So I want you to get the speed stuff because this gives you more health. I know I'm going to be giving you your charge bonus stuff. I'll get the Blade Master stuff. I've got 11 more points essentially. So 1, 2... Three, four, five, six. There's those six. And then I, th I do want to be able to get up to this as well. Which we need, like, one more point. Yeah, I'll be able to get to, uh, at least to evasion. Okay, so that's good. You've got to rank up. You need to also get... Oh, actually, no. First and foremost, actually. Because I still have this stuff. Um, I would say... Yeah, the Keeper of Lore. Grab that. And then... See, this is the Mad Prince. Mad Prince, I would grab... At this point, I can just... Well, first, let's get you the Indomitable stuff. Then, after you max out that, I'm just going to put you on auto-manage, I'd say. And then, after that, it's just that you are scouting. I'm actually going to have you know, start to kind of scout more around where Krokgar is. So, you try and make your way down there. Building-wise... Let's try and upgrade these to get some better defenses, possibly. You're grabbing that for more public order. And then I'm not going to repair that because you're probably just going to attack it again. So we'll go for something else like, I don't know, yeah, upgrading my port over here or something. That's pretty good for us. This area, I'm going to hold off on building anything over here because I think Krokgar is just going to attack me immediately. And speak of the devils, they are making their way over here. So I'm to take the auto resolve. I've got armies making their way over here. Also, I looked up his trade again. Oh, I so need Krokgar's trait on Cetra. It gives him 10 melee defense. That is something I desperately do want on Cetra. Kalita, I don't care. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm fine. I don't need money from you. I need you to just maybe be a nuisance to Krokgar, possibly. Because for right now, we just need to try and stem the tide in the northern bit right there. Stop them from pushing further west through there. Then, most of my armies I want to have focus on tic-tac-toe. So basically what we need to do is just, I want to have it so that Cetra... Trying to set him, send him up there. Probably going to send up a cough for right now, at least, just so he can try and stop them. Under city discovery of Rafa. That's fine. I'll just let's see how much it costs to get rid of. 3,000. Ouch. Not what I wanted, but they've stopped burning this area, so actually I'll repair this stuff. Let's see. So we lost this settlement here. Um, let's see. Cough is close. So let's start making my way up normally now. Because I'm hoping that you'll basically be able to push him back. Cetra's gonna try and make his way over here, so try and rush up this way. Then, you can now start pushing back. Yeah. So, you have to go right here. I can then have you go for a Bagar next turn. Um, take that back. This army is still building itself up right now. Um, I do need... Let's see, can I get one just right now? No, I cannot at the moment. Well, the research for that, let's see, because I need another Lich Priest. So, let me get another Lich Priest here. I'll get one next turn. Then I need uh, two more slots. Actually, this guy should actually get a Necrotech. So, I just need one more unit in this army. For now, at least. And I would say... Because I can't get any more uh, Necro Sphinxes or uh, Cameron War Sphinxes. So, I will just have it be another just Tomb Guard, I'd say. Just another Tomb Guard... Then we'll put two heroes into this army. This force will be ready um, in roughly about two to three turns, essentially. Building-wise, uh, keeping this for public order. And then you can keep upgrading your shop, do you think? I take tac toe Are you wanting peace because I kicked your fucking ass? No. You attacked me. I'm taking all my shit back. You do not get to keep the land you took from me. I'm going to keep pushing while I have the advantage here. So this just shows to me, hey, they are weak. I took out all their armies. So we're going to push back against them. We at least have one army pushing for sure right now. I'll have it so that ideally... 
I'll be able to turn King Lakoff next turn around next turn to start helping out over here as well. Because I know Cetra will be able to very easily kind of handle the northeastern part himself. And I just want that. Okay, so Crocard didn't move. Good, good, good. Yeah, he's not around here. Okay, so if that's the case, Cetra, you yourself, walk up normally. You can be the one that's pushing up here. No, Crocard's still there. Yeah, he just didn't move forward. Okay, let's actually now also get. Um, we need to actually have a Necrotech for once. So let's get a Necrotech here too. We'll cough. I'm just going to have you turn around. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. You need to start trying to help down here. So let's start rushing down this way. So you can start helping out King Rakash. So King Rakash, reclaim Bagar. Take that back for us. And then I need to build that back up. Because we did lose that uh, pyramid. Which is not what I wanted. Uh, I'm glad they didn't take Hasabar though. It would have sucked to have to rebuild this. Um, for right now though, I do need to remember. I need to actually get... Ooh. Yeah, I don't have this yet. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, I do not have enough to get both things, do I, right now? No, I don't. I do need to get this, though. I want to be able to get Bone Giants. So let's try and grab some Bone Giants from that. Then you... Um, I can just do this wherever. I don't need to have it be up here. So I can actually have you start gathering those heroes down here. So give me another Lich Priest of Nehekara. I'll grab Wrathful. And then King Thupet. Thupet. You'll start making your way down here, and then we'll get you a Necrotech next turn um, around this area. And then and you two at least are going to all research pushing down this way. Start pushing down that way. Actually, King will cough. We could just send back north to go try and deal with the forces of... Um, get. Honestly, I'm going to try and see if we can just sit around here and not have to worry. Like, if I can just build up, like, use these as a buffer, build up Sartosa... We'll send over another army later. Or when I can get... Like, I almost have enough resources. We're getting close to that. Oh, also, I can awaken this stuff. I keep forgetting about that. And I'm going to want to awaken you at some point. But to get another army... I just need more... Uh, I just need more Canopic Jars. Because I need 800 of those per damn turn to do that. Kemri, though... Let's see. Kemri doesn't have its pyramid. So we need to at least get, save one spot for that. I've already got its resource. And I'd have two more slots after that. So I'd probably want to say you. And we'll get... I'll get the Necro Sphinx first. Because I want to grab one of those at least. And we can just keep putting that into King Thupit's army. We'll grab more of these later. I'd like to get more of them. Honestly, I probably could get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, okay. I'd at least have one more slot. Because I can get rid of this at some point. What do you want to talk about? Oh, the end of their non-aggression pact with me. Awesome. They don't like my wars with the Lizardmen? Oh, I wonder fucking why. That's fine. I'm already moving more of my forces down south anyways. Thankfully, Crockgar didn't fucking move. So now we can try and have it so that Cetra, we're going to gladly try and take out his army. His army's not that crazy. He's only level 14 right now, so his stats aren't too insane. Um, there we go, now more Necrotex. Then I can do this again. There we go. Get more of those. But yeah, King Wakoff, you need to keep making your way down this way. You'll be here next turn. Um, King Rakash, you can get at least back to Antok this turn. So, claim that. Occupy it once again. Then, uh, let's see. So, again, you guys here. Grab the Necrotech. Let's see. So, we don't have any Scorpions in this army. Eternal physical resistance. That's not bad. So, I'll have you grab that. And then you can just kind of go chill over here. Because you're going for the Plane of Tuskers. I'll have these two heroes join on up with you. And then you'll just keep making your way over there. Uh, Research-wise, though, I think now... Let's see. Yeah, we should finish this first. I'm not getting that. <laughs> I'm not getting that until a while. Uh, we'll grab this and this. Then we'll start on the... Which dynasty has the Ushabti stuff? Yeah, you. I want to have Ushabti army. So I'm definitely going to want to get the fourth dynasty next after that. You again are going to be... Oh, actually, what can I have you do for actions? Um, ooh, can you wound him? Yeah, there we go. So there's one less guy that we're going to have to worry about here. Uh, you need to remember to get more Canopic Jar generation for you. Uh, but Cetra now, let's have you do this. So we can now have it. So let's get the garrison there. It's pretty weak. It's also just a shit ton of skinks. That's all it is. So we'll push on in here. It says pure victory. No, there's there's no way in hell. Cetra is going to slaughter you guys. Because Krokgar... Krokgar doesn't have a ton of bonuses for himself just yet. 
So I think Cetra... Oh yeah, Cetra is already starting to get some really good stats. Getting 10 more melee defense on you is going to be really nice. Your melee attack is really low. That's like the one thing I kind of despise, is that Cetra's melee attack is pretty low. We should be able to continue trying to farm up other traits to, to keep trying to improve that, but getting him more melee defense is going to be nice. So let's now just make my way in here. Most of this army is just Sphinx. Like, no, they're, sorry, they're the Skinks. So they are not that hard to deal with. So what we're going to do is I will probably assault uh, this area. Also, we might be able to just take the safe center again because that's what we did last time. So we'll have my chariots go over here, try and rush to the safe center, see if we can capture that while all of my forces are going to be rushing in through this gate here, trying to destroy Krokgar and his forces. And then basically we just need to kind of like slowly push in this way with Cetra, essentially, while everybody else finishes off the forces of uh, Tic-Tac-Toe. So you guys go there. You guys there, archers, chariots, go over there, and then um, you are good where you're at, start the battle, you guys go forward, break down the gates, uh, I'll have my tomb guard rush at the walls, you guys can get a little bit closer, and I just need to have you guys start trying to, okay, so the, uh, Croc is actually over here, I don't like where any of you guys are, um, let's have you go break down this gate. Because most of their forces are actually over here instead, which is not what I want. Because you're not going to be able to do a good amount of damage with these guys, so let's try and ignore them for right now. Alright, gates are down. Let's now start trying to see if we can get you guys to blob up around Cetra and my hero. And then we can just start trying to hit you with my Casket of Souls. Archers are already are able to unload. Infantry, you guys are getting up onto the walls. I'll start having you guys start trying to push forward to help out as well. Cetra, just keep boosting yourself here. Also, how much damage is it actually going to go up to? Oh, you're a little debuffed right now because you're poisoned, but kind of counteracts it. There we go. Let's start exploding. And then don't forget Desert Strike because that's a good way to kind of improve your damage around here. There we go. I keep buffing your hero. Let's actually focus on their hero specifically first. Focus on him. Archers. Yeah, keep providing support. Infantry now at this point, basically, just start trying to like push up this way. Alrighty, now let's start trying to slaughter some of these little skinks in the way here. So yeah, chariots, keep trying to push through these guys. I'm trying to get you guys back to the city center still. Um, at the moment, let's see, who are you losing to? Oh, it's spears, that's why. Okay, so keep pushing on in here the best you guys can. Uh, here, let's get you some defenses there. Where's Crocker? Has he still not made his way over here yet? I think he's like slowly making his way in. Archers are moving up so you guys will be able to actually do something. Chariots, maybe just took a huge hit. I don't know from what, but something. Um, let's just keep pushing my way towards the safe center for right now, although at least try and get rid of these guys. So Crocker is the one actually chasing my chariots right now. He's trying to keep up with them. I'm having them just try and rush on through skink cohorts because you guys absolutely slaughter skinks. So just keep trying to distract him for right now as Cetra and everybody else is dealing with their other units. I'm trying to get Cetra kind of slowly over here because I want him to be able to try and start trying to get rid of you guys. Uh, let's keep moving my... Tomb Guard up this way. Archers, you guys can just keep kind of slowly making your way up. I might have you guys actually go try and take the city center. Uh, Croc Guard, you're not supposed to be fighting Croc Guard. Do not fight Croc Guard. Try and make your way over here. Try and go for these sort of spears, kind of. Basically, just run over this way. Cetra. Okay, so these guys are almost dead there. I can start trying to make you move over to now deal with Croc Guard. So you guys do that. I'll have my Tomb Guard just slowly make their way forward and start trying to capture points. Same with you guys. You guys will specifically just walk up towards the city center. As my chariots, I'm trying to get you away from Krokgar, because he's he can just slaughter my chariots. Ah, oh, yes, I love just watching some of their units just fall into these pits because of the fights over here. Um, again, krokgar has been slaughtering my chariots. I finally got them over to my infantry, so now I can just start trying to recover my chariots. Archers, you're still trying to slowly make your way up to the final point here. Because you guys can get up here and capture that for me, we can just start capturing the city for ourselves. Alright, that's good enough. We were able to recover most of my chariots now there. So now we've been able to have it, so we've at least been able to push back Krokgar. Now I'm going to have his defeat trade on Cetra. So now what we'll be able to do is we'll keep pushing a little bit further into the east here with Cetra. He'll be the one primarily fighting Krokgar and the last defenders. Every other army is going to be focusing on Tic-Tac-Toe, so we can slowly but surely, uh, hopefully, not even slowly, I want to slaughter him and absolutely take all of his stuff as soon as possible. So that way, we can make sure that we have a pretty good hold over the south. 
probably going to start a war with um, Kairos soon here, probably because of this, as we're making our way down south. So we're going to have to deal with the forces of uh, Zinch now. But with us focusing all their attention, uh, most of my attention on Tic-Tac-Toe, he should not last long. Satra can then keep pushing back Krokgar, um, especially now. Let's see, so let's have you just occupy this. Now we have yet more control and more melee defense. I love that. That's perfect. So now I'll just have a see. You'll just keep pushing back their forces. Um, let's see. So next I want to get you the charge stuff. We'll go with that. Mad Prince. Again, we want just basically two more level ups. And then I'm just going to put you on auto manage. I don't feel the need to focus on that after that. Uh, King Rakash. You again keep getting the stuff for the cavalry stuff. Because I, I do want to put some of those units into your army at some point. Um, I feel like maybe I'll like switch out my chariots and the Ushabti uh, for the Narcopolis Knights in this army. Seeing as how that would actually work better for you to have the chariots and this guy um, in this army, I would say. Uh, Movement-wise, you, uh, I would say, let's have you kind of go scout out down over here. Building-wise, you have to try and upgrade Vulture Mountain. Kemri, again, let's see. So I do have enough money. Oh, actually, no, I don't have enough money now. I want to. I want to build so many things in this area, but I don't have the cash for it. Let's see. So what do we got here? So we got Lost of the Desert. Uh, it's for 10 turns. Yeah, we don't give a shit about everybody else, so their laws just serve us. So we're not going to care about that. Let's see. So, got the stalker upgrades there. Then we want to now get the um, Tomb Scorpion stuff first. Then we'll start getting the 4th Dynasty upgrade next. So, King Wakoff, you're almost now down around here. Next turn you'll be able to start pushing forward. You, you go to King Koopa's army. Increase your ability. Keep making your way over to the Plain of Tuskers. King Rakash, I will have you just yeah, start keep making your way down towards the uh, Sun Tree Glades. Because I don't see any armies. I see, like, nothing around here. So we can just start rushing over their troops here. Um, other than that, we need to move Setra forward. Who, oh, you guys took that. Well, that... Okay. Um, well, I can keep trying to fight Krokgar, but we'll just kind of walk through these territories. Don't want to take attrition, but I think we're okay for now. Just start pushing down there. We'll deal with uh, Krokgar first. Probably, like, once I feel like we're ready to start pushing fully north, that's when I'm going to start killing Kalita. So for right now, Cetra, just keep making your way down south. You can keep pushing into Krokgar. It does kind of help us out. It makes it a little bit easier to not have to worry about them. So you keep kind of trying to scout ahead of us if you can. There. Um, this is for Skelebrimbor. Um, let's start getting this stuff first. So I want to get the... Yeah, get this one first. Grab that. Building-wise, I need to remember first Kemri. Kemri can get stuff that I need desperately. So first get its pyramid. Then let's grab the uh, Citadel. And then once we get this ranked up to rank 5, then I'm going to get rid of this. We can then put um, two buildings up here, probably the Necro Colossus, uh, Necro Sphinx, and the Kemrian War Sphinx. Put those in there, and that will be a pretty good way to do that. Alrighty, let's see. So that Lord is ready for duty. Not going to worry too much about you. Uh, right unlocked. Which one is that? So that would be the Geheb one. Um, not available for another three turns. That would not be bad for me to actually try and conduct that at some point, but for right now, that's good. Um, King Lakoff. Let's see, so for right now, Tic-Tac-Toe is the one over here. Let's see. Valiant Defeat. Oh my god, he has five Coatles. What the fuck is that army? Try and circle him, please. Because what the fuck? Okay, King Wakoff, uh, I have my uh, plans on what you're doing now. So you're going to run over this way. King Thupit, we'll see if they try and attack you during the end turn. Of King Rakash, keep pushing forward and trying to go on the offensive while you guys are trying to figure that out, because what the hell? So yeah, push on in here. Let's see if you guys get the movement and money building there. Uh, Cetra, again. Let's see, so I just take a trip. It's just because Kalita's doing her thing, isn't it? Let's see, I'm just going to walk normally, just so I'm immune to attrition there. So we'll just do that. I'm not too worried about that. Gives me some time to try and have you scout for us, which I see two armies. So I see an army there, an army there. Yes! You, I want to have keep trying to scout over here and check this area out for me. And then this is for Rakash. Again, get the elite cavalry stuff there. And then I think it now just buildings. So Def Gorge, we definitely want to grow. Um, Antok, we need to build this stuff crap back all up there. 
I would say just built the oh Bagar actually is the one that has the temple, but I can't get that right now. So get that there. That's all we can do for now. I don't think this is gonna go well either way. I'm gonna try and withdraw. And he stayed in the city. Thank you. Because that means I can gain, get King Wakaf over here. Because oh my god, that was a lot of quarrels. Uh Kalita, I don't care. Uh ooh, actually no I do. That then never mind, I do care. I will gladly start trading with you for now. That is a lot of money for us. Okay, so they are going to attack here. I'm going to try and withdraw and see if they don't follow me. If they don't... There we go. Wakaf is going to be able to join on in now. We can have it so that those two armies together will be able to push on into the Plain of Tuskers. Kalita, what the hell do you want? Uh, trade. Ooh, yes. Gladly. Especially since right now uh, I can... I, I do have a lot of resources, so I'm glad that at least somebody is going to be giving me a lot more money from that. But yeah, so we'll take Tic-Tac-Toe out. Then we can have it so that after that, Thupet and Rakash, they'll split up and then after that. And hopefully it won't take us that long to finish off Tic-Tac-Toe. I'm hoping we can finish him off today. Like, if we can finish him off today, I'll be pretty happy. Then we just need to take out Krokgar still. Um, and then after that, I'll just have to hope that for right now at least, Ikit hasn't been doing much, which I hope. I'm, I'm happy about. So for right now, let's have it so... Uh, let's start now start getting the 4th Dynasty stuff. Although, actually, what do we get for this one again? This one gives me more income from settlement buildings and control. Never mind, get that first, and then we'll get the fourth dynasty. So grab that. Uh, King Thubit, I'll say you be the one that is encircling this area. Then we'll bring on Anil Kaf. So bring in Kaf right there. And then have you assault this. Not going to lose anything from this with uh, the two armies here. We'll just take these mundane. damage. We'll recover it. So now, let's occupy the region. And then I can have it so Kaf. Keep trying to have you make your way down this way. You'll keep trying to push out immediately. Let's see, problem secured again. Um, you've already got yeah your resurrect stuff. You're just trying to get more stuff for your yellow line. Let's have you get the one that does the hit points and fire resistance. So let's grab that. Um, you need more reserves. Stupid. So again, you are going down. You're the one that gets the bonuses for the necro sphinx stuff. So what we want you to get is this, this. Then we want to grab Stone Sentinels. Oh, it's weird that they split them. At the moment, I'll have you get this one. I'm probably going to have you just do both. This and this. Yeah. But for right now, at least get that. Um, You need to get your rank up here so that you can start getting the heal. Um, then I'm now going to have you start getting the Kanaka Jars, the Necrotech, which is the first one we've actually had in a while. So we can get all three of these abilities. Um, restore, that's just heal on my guys. Stone Shaper, cases they have more, yeah, they have uh, missile resistance and armor near, when you're nearby them. And then also uh, armor piercing damage and melee attack. So yes, grab that. And then I'll have you then get, um, we'll get the increased mobility. There we go. So, Plane Tuskers now under my control again. Let's kind of start upgrading these areas a little bit. King Rakash, let's have you can make your way down to this city, which I think is the furthest south that Tic Tac Toe has got. So, you can occupy that. And then let's see. So, that's fine as it is. Get that. Yeah, so they don't control anything further down south right now, which is good for us. Um, I do see the forces of Kairos over there, though. Uh, but Tic-Tac-Toe only has four regions, so that should not take long for you guys to deal with them. Cetra, yeah, you're still slowly but surely making your way down this way. These armies are slowly taking attrition, which I really appreciate, so Kalita, keep doing that. I wonder if I can... let's see... 39%... 52%. I kind of want to have it so you can try and wound him, or either hinder punishment on you, because you've taken a lot of damage. Nope, you lost. You failed. That's, that's awesome. Okay, well, he'll be back later. Let's see, so this, let's now have you get this, and then uh, King Rakash. Uh, ooh, you can now get this stuff. So, King Rakash, again, I was going to try and have you go down the cab stuff, which that one was... It's not that one. It's not that one. I could have sworn there was one that affected these guys. Uh, if not, then I'm probably just going to get the Cask of Souls one. <laughs> yeah, because Rakash. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have him get the Casket of Souls one. Get the Casket of the other, the God of the Underworld. So you can grab that, get some more missile damage. I might actually give you another... Uh, I might have you grab another Casket of Souls right here. Because I do have one available. 
Like, put that in your army. Like, get rid of one of these. Oh, those are the bones of horse, so I don't want to get rid of them. Um, so we'll just keep them there for now. Antok and Bagar, you guys need to keep trying to build this stuff back up. Keep trying to grow that there. Uh, oh, we still need to get this one still, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, because that gives, uh, reduces the... Wait, actually. Um, yeah, I forgot that building was here. What the hell? I need this. I desperately need that because that reduces the recruitment time on all of my units. So yes, please. Grab that. Get some more growth, I would say. I do have enough for the gems still, though. So Toza, you need to get the growth building. So get the growth building around here. Help out with that. And then you guys just need to put your commandment down again. Get the one that gives movement range and growth. And then I think for right now... Yeah, let's do, let's do one more end turn. Let's do one more end turn. I was hoping to maybe finish off Tic-Tac-Toe today, but at least now at this point in time, we have three armies pushing into Tic-Tac-Toe. We have one army dealing with Krokgar. And so next video, we're going to start continuing to deal a lot of damage to the forces of these Lizardmen. They're not going to last all that much longer. Tic-Tac-Toe especially. Tic-Tac-Toe does not have all that much. And I'm focusing three armies on him. So we can try and have it. So we'll push down there. Hopefully the other... Um, lizard men to the south of Tic-Tac-Toe. Uh, Maybe they won't fight me. Maybe they won't. If they do, I don't mind killing them all because I have plenty of armies that can make their way down there. But I really would like to be able to send another army back up to go deal with Ikit because I want to hit him before he gets nukes, please. I don't think I want to fight a nuclear-powered Rat King guy, so we're going to try and see if we can avoid that. Also, so how are we doing on our victory conditions? Because I know we completed our short victory conditions. There we go. Under control. I like that. Um, nice. So, now finally get the 4th Dynasty stuff. Because my victory conditions right now. I am at 40 regions out of 75. Okay. So we're getting there. Um, let's have it so King Rakash. Yeah, you can make your own this way. You're a little damaged, but I think that's okay. Uh, I can have it so King Rakash. You can almost get to this city. Let's see, where's my border again with them? My border's right here. So, I'm going to have you just sit, like, one more turn. You'll be able to get a little bit more punishment and then hit those guys. You're pretty much fully replenished, so I'm just going to have you keep making your way over to the Deadhead Monoliths. Uh, they've got a little bit of an army there. I think that should be okay. You're far enough away from the city that I don't think that matters all that much. Cetra now. Oh, I wish you guys were a little bit closer. I can at least have Cetra go hit that guy if I really want. Oh, I don't even have enough movement, actually. I was kind of hoping I would, you know, such as keep thinking your way forward. I could fight both these armies pretty easily with how beat up they are right now, but hopefully maybe one of them will just run away to the city and then I can kind of deal with them later. Uh, my prince, you just keep kind of, kind of watching over this area. Keep watching over that. Lost Plateau, put that up there. Um, I need somebody to get the goddamn public order building, so I'll tell you grab that. Grab that. Um, Pike Tower Park and will grow that. So Toza just needs more growth. And then Riff Rafa. I'm still surprised. Do they have another Undercity here? Oh, no, it's just because of the one city there. But I do think this will be a pretty good place to end for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts have on in general? This is Rampan. I'll see you guys next time.